All right, here we go. Remnant 2. Put up a like, subscribe. Bad Skadoobie Gaming. Let's get this thing going. I'm trying to get into this game. I jumped back into Anotria, and I'm working on getting um, the Platinum Trophy on that. But let's jump into Remnant 2 and see if we can get this thing going. Rock and roll. Whoa, hey, get away from my stew! Oh, it's you. Oh, nonsense. I'm sure you had a reason. Me, Casa, et tu, Brute. <laughs> and all that. So, what can old Muntooth do for you, huh? Well, shoot, Traveler, I might have some answers for you. Quite a bit, stranger. The name's Mudtooth. And ain't nobody been around longer or seen more than I have. Except maybe old Ford, of course. But that old mudder cheats. Anyway, he hardly tells any of his stories. Only three reasons why folks come to see me. And that's my stories or my stew. Yeah. So, youngin', what'll it be? Town, you call it. Back in my day, a place like this wouldn't be considered much more than a camp or a, 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 a bivouac. You might call it. Nah, this ain't no town. Not yet. But it is a fine place to set up Kip. <laughs> I lived by myself for years, see? Had myself a... a what you calls it, uh, uh, Hockapotopter. That thing could fly to the moon and back. <laughs> it could. <laughs> Anywho, I was living by myself when my boy Brabus showed up saying we should move on. Told me it wasn't safe for me to be living like I've been living no more. He told me about this place. Got some nice people here. Took some getting used to being around folks again. Well, Brabus, he's my son. Twere his idea to come join this little shanty town. Not a bad idea it was, neither. He's over yonder, at the shooting range, if you're looking to find him. Not much of a talker, though, that one. <laughs> Guess he didn't get his old man's gift for gab, eh? <laughs> That so? Huh. Did I tell you about the stories yet? Right. So, let me see here. Folks, come see me for my stories and my stew and 
and... Listen, you sure I said there were three reasons? Cause there's only two, and that's certain. Huh. Only two reasons folks come to see old Mudtooth, and you know both of them. I'm pretty sure your memory's slipping. Well, all right. Why, sure, but, uh, it ain't ready just yet. The lunch rush today was something fierce, I tell you. But I'll have some for you quicker than you can say crazy eight. Well, maybe not that quick. I done already said it, didn't I? Just come back in a while, I'll be sure to save you a bowl. Take care, young'un. Don't be a stranger. So many new faces these days. Things must be getting a mite easier out there. Welcome, traveler. I'm Reginald Malone. But my friends call me Reggie. But you can too. Saw so you come in with Bo and Clementine there. Or oh, you can be sure they'll do everything they can for your friend. Ain't the first to come through here needing help. Ooh, getting right to business. I respect that. If you got scrap, I got you covered. Supplies. Old Reggie's your guy. Greetings, traveler. What can I do for you? Keep your wits about you. Needs you. You can't go wandering off <laughs> for something. I'm just pulling you. Their Name's Brabus, and I run security sense. around here. Oh, that's I'll see it as you got the what mayor's personal approval. Years, I reckon you ain't problem so now. I also now? make sure folks no, here about can different. protect themselves. I'm trying to fix ain't things. just the root kicking around. A lot of folks still ain't chummy with this whole rebuilding society business. I should know. You know Damn how many people straight. died? A lot of folks only ever learn how to look out for themselves. I don't know any different. I used to be one of them. Up until about 20 years ago, I ran a pack called the Mud Dogs. We took what we wanted and killed anyone who crossed us. Mm, the doggy dog world back then. We all did what we had to to survive. Uh, things might be different now. But a lot of folks can't chew a path out of the old ways. Maybe never will. But it's because Two shots sent a mess and one to the head. To do Stop the most thing. of your problems. Well, forgive me if I don't want to take advice from the men who fucked up the world in the first place. I'm not your dreamer anymore. Maybe I've got my own mission. Uh, These people need you. Maybe I just need to go see Riggs. He can probably help with my gun. Every person out there is capable of taking care of themselves. This isn't about them, it's about you. You've always run away from your problems, but you won't let me run toward something. What are you so goddamn afraid of? I'm losing you. Losing them. Losing everything. I've already lost everything. Uh. <clears throat> we'll talk about this later. Out of my way. Whoa, what have we here? Ah, the... Traveler, of course. Wallace said... Yes. Uh, 
right on time. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know. Families fight. Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance. In the flesh. Huh, how about that? I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's get to it. You first. That's a longer story than I can indulge right now. Let's keep it to this. You know how some things you drink can make you drunk? And some things you eat can make you sick or sleepy? Well, other things do this. It's a big world out there. Huh. <laughs> Not my way. And you want to be careful what you wish for, traveler. Ah, uh, not you precisely, as in name, rank, serial number. But I knew someone was coming. Aren't you clever? Skeptic. That's fine. It so happens I knew you'd be coming today. Or I hoped. Our young Wallace told me. Wallace? He's a special kid. A lot like somebody I used to know. She had bad dreams, too. Dreams about things that hadn't yet come to pass. It's more like he can see really far into the present. Sometimes. Oh, nothing too dangerous. I've got to marshal my resources. And then we'll get into it in earnest. Quite a few characters around here. I'll warrant you that. Arguing's not the same as fighting. Clem and I have known each other longer than anyone else here. That's a lot of water to put under a narrow bridge. Looks can be deceiving. In fact, she's 132 years old. She was 16 when I first met her, over a lifetime ago. But she hasn't aged a day since. Is he Clementine? She's forever young. Height of hormones, height of feeling, height of hurting. I'm sure you remember yourself. Or if not, <laughs> that little scrapper you came in with brought it all back to you. Compared to who? <laughs> Bo might be young. But he knows the run of a ward. Learned from the best. He was orphaned. Just a kid. Ward 13. Sort of adopted him. Ran security when he got old enough. Did a damn good job of it. Only made sense to put him in charge once we started up here. Don't think there's a soul in town has lost as much as Riggs. Don't know how that man gets up out of bed every day. But he does. And we're damn thankful. Want some intel, eh? All right, traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up, and then meet me at the ward gate. I'll tell you a story. I'm not talking about this right now.
You're looking for Wallace. Uh, he's up there. Best view in town. can be as strong as she is someday. See you, Traveler. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. It's her who needs it. You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The sight, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that already, too. You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you want it to. a lot of sense now. You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. Till next time. Audrey, I, uh, 
I've been meaning to tell you something. You sounded so much like Brad just now. Uh, sorry. What did you want to say? Oh, I... I... I uh, saw a bird this morning. The seagull. And my mother. Did Bo send you over here, or did you stumble your way over here yourself? Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right, so what the hell is this journey? I swear, if that boy weren't so goddamn right all the time, he and I'd be having words. Percussive ones. Fine. Well... The only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So, either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what. I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it. to help with whatever journey he saw you on just tell wally to be more specific next time yeah so we're done here right or do i need the hammer again uh, let me save you some time so you don't keep nattering on we used to live in that building over there then a stranger came we called them the wanderer you might have noticed everyone gets a handle here anyway they show up and stop the route now, we live in these buildings, here. That cleared up for you? And me? I keep it real simple. Less to worry about that way. Alright, let's see what you've got. <sighs> Look, it's not personal. I just don't like being distracted. I get into a zone, you know? Pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. But I'll tell you what. You're clearly not the average stray that shows up here. So I'll make you a deal. You find anything interesting out there, bring it back to me and I'll see if I can use it to mod your weapons. Okay? Oh, and if you tell anyone I was nice to you, I will cut you. Oh, friend. <laughs> Glad to see you're all right. What can I do for you? That's right. But everybody calls me Riggs. I try to keep folks safe out there. My specialty is armor and weapons upgrades. Speaking of which, Bo mentioned you might need some help getting your feet back on, do you? Well, whatever you need, don't be afraid to ask. We all help each other out here. <laughs> Even McCabe. Take care, my friend. How goes it, friend? Be safe out there. Back again, huh? What trouble are you stirring up this time? That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't trust Wally with a hot meal. But I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon he was any more specific. Psh, right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid. And I can see your gear is, uh, lacking, to say the least. If he asks, you tell him I gave you this. Uh, no charge. 
Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine. Go see Riggs, then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants. Rock it, roll, baby. friend I don't suppose he was more particular about why right well I've got a pretty focused skill set I reckon I know what he means come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment Greetings. <laughs> Forgive me. I am not good with Paxel Tech faces. Oh, it is new. I thought I had seen it before. So difficult to tell Paxel Tech apart without hoof and horn. I am Sa Israk Thadwell. Uh, my Paxel Tech name is Dwell. I sell wares crafted using refined crystals from my world. They make Paxel take faster, stronger, more powerful. They help it defeat its enemies. <laughs> and the prices are quite fair. Ah, yes. Well, Dwell is here to find. 